Gloucestershire Bill lead to set up intriguing final day at Cheltenham. Half centuries from Ross Whiteley and Brett Dolivera helped Worcestershire recover from a precarious position at 68 for 5 after a top order collapse on day 2 at Cheltenham College. The pair added 146 before Whiteley was dismissed late in the day to leave Worcestershire 232 for 6 and still 122 behind Gloucestershire. Dolivera and Parnell resumed on day 3 for Worcestershire, but Parnell soon had to go when he feathered Ethan Bamba behind to Bracey for 7. New batsman Leach picked up the first boundary of the day, but Bamba struck again, finding a bit of lift to have Dolivera caught in the slips by Hammond, and Payne continued a brilliant start to the morning for the hosts when he pinned Pennington in front in the next over to leave Worcestershire 9 down. Leach responded by finding the fence twice in the following over to take his side past 250. And the boundaries began to come regularly for the Worcestershire skipper as he frustrated the Gloucestershire attack in partnership with last man Alan Finch. The lunch interval was delayed as the host tried to claim the final wicket, but Leach and Finch had taken their side to the brink of 300 before Leach chopped on for 38 to leave Worcestershire all out at lunch for 293, giving Gloucestershire a lead of 61 on first innings. Joe Leach couldn't be kept out of the game though as he struck with the third ball of the innings to have Dent caught a slip. Roderick and Hammond hit back with a boundary apiece, but the run rate had slowed to a crawl before Parnell nipped one back to bowl Roderick. Hammond and new batsman James Bracey tried to get things moving by finding the rope, but Worcestershire struck again when Barnard pinned Hammond in front. Bracey responded by sending Parnell to the fence in consecutive overs, but the South African got his man with the very next ball when he found the top of up stump to bowl him. Higgins and Smith dug in to take their side past 50 and they began to build a partnership, with Higgins sending Finch to the fence from consecutive deliveries. and the all-rounder began to put his foot down, following up another boundary off Finch with two more from consecutive Dolivera deliveries in the next over. Smith got in on the act with four of his own off Dolivera, but two balls later Higgins was gone when he threw the kitchen sink at a wide one from Pennington, but only succeeded in edging through to vessels at slip. T arrived soon after with Gloucestershire, 105 for 5 and leading by 166. Smith and Taylor dug in after T, with only 13 runs coming from the first 10 overs of the evening session, but Taylor looked to up the rate as he picked up boundaries off both Barnard and Parnell, and Smith had to go when Parnell angled one into him and he fenced to Vessels. Taylor moved the lead to 200 before he edged Barnard behind to Cox, standing up to the stumps, and three overs later, with the score the same, Howe looked to put away a rankful toss from Dolivera, but only succeeded in picking out Parnell at mid-on. Bamba edged one down to third man in the final over of the day, to leave Gloucestershire 149 for 8, with a lead of 210, which they'll hope to build as much as possible on the final morning before Worcestershire begin their chase.